Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be looking at promiscuous mode and what it is. So promiscuous mode is a feature of DMR radios. Not all DMR radios have this mode. You have to be careful. If you're buying a DMR radio and you want promiscuous mode, then you have to make sure to get a radio that has promiscuous mode because generally the radios designed for the commercial market don't have promiscuous mode. So this one here, this Motorola, which is designed for businesses to use, doesn't have promiscuous mode. The MD380, which is a cheaper Chinese radio, does have promiscuous mode, even though it was really originally designed for the commercial world. Um, but that's because it has an unofficial firmware on it, which has added a bunch of features to this radio. The HD1 here was designed for amateurs, so it does have promiscuous mode on already as a stock feature. If you want to find out more about the unofficial firmware on the MD380, I'll link you to one of my older videos about it in the description. So what does promiscuous mode actually do? Well, promiscuous mode allows you to listen into any talk group on the channel you're using. It doesn't let you hear any color code. You still have to have the correct DMR color code, but it does allow you to listen to any talk group. So let me give you a demonstration of that now. If I transmit on this radio here, both of these radios have promiscuous mode on, so they should receive whatever I transmit from this radio, even if they don't have the group that this is transmitting on programmed into them. So let me give that a try. Okay, test, one, two. So you can see they're both receiving the transmission from this radio. Now, if we do it the other way around and transmit on this radio on a random group and see if these two receive it, because this radio here doesn't have promiscuous mode and this radio does have promiscuous mode, then let's say I'm going to transmit on just a completely random group here that I've just made up. Test one, two. So you could see on this radio here, it didn't receive anything because since this radio didn't have the group programmed into a group list already, and it doesn't have promiscuous mode, it simply cannot receive it. Whereas the HD1 here does have promiscuous mode on, so it could receive it. So you might be wondering, why do I need this promiscuous mode feature on my radio? Well, it's actually very useful because amateur DMR repeaters use lots of different talk groups for different things. So you might have a talk group that connects only locally, so only people on the same repeater would hear you. But then you might have another talk group that connects to a bunch of repeaters within a certain area. And you might have another talk group that covers all repeaters within a state and even one talk group that covers an entire country. Promiscuous mode is definitely a good feature to get in a radio you are buying and I definitely recommend that you get a radio with promiscuous mode if you're going to be using your radio for amateur DMR or just for messing about with. If you're using your radio on a commercial system then you probably don't really need promiscuous mode and so you can get one of the radios without it. So to summarize this video what we've covered is promiscuous mode and we've said that promiscuous mode allows you to listen to any group that might be transmitted on on the channel that you're listening to. However you do have to watch out that promiscuous mode doesn't let you hear any color code. You still have to have the correct color code set to hear what's on that channel and you also have to be on the same time slot as whoever is transmitting that you want to hear. So thanks for watching. Hit the thumbs up button if you enjoyed this video and if you haven't subscribed already then the subscribe button is down below this video and I definitely recommend considering subscribing if you liked this video and want to see more like this.